They are just symbols to show what they are representing that um, uh, angle. So, how do I get my angles? I have this, all the side notes. You are free to choose any side. But take note, whichever side you choose must be made, and to that end, I will help you to know which of the ratio to use. Now, I want to start with alpha. I want to combine two sides. If I'm using alpha, then the side to be alpha because my almost is. Then the one on that becomes my hydrogen. So I want to combine my opposite and my hydrogen. Again, I want to find the alpha first. The side that is the alpha is taken to be the opposite. It's the angle I want to work with first. This is called my opposite. This is my hypotenuse. I don't want to use it for now. This is my hydrogen. If it's not on your own, if you decide to use the opposite and hypotenuse, we are going to arrive at the same answer, going by the same way I want to explain. Me, I want to use uh, my opposite and hypotenuse. You may decide to use opposite and hypotenuse. We arrive at the same answer. Now, this is my opposite. So I want to use my sine alpha now. Using my opposite over hypotenuse over hypotenuse, which is 6 over 8. That shows my sine alpha is equal to 6 over 8, which can equally become 3 over 4. And my sine alpha can still be, change this one to decimal fraction. You have to change this one. This fraction, change this to decimal fraction. This one will give us 4.75. But because you are working in four figure tables, because you are working in four figure tables, when you have values like this as a decimal fraction, you have the zeros to make it four figure. Because when you go to check it for this one inside of four figure table, you will not see 0.75. You will see 0.75 with zero zero. So we are going to say our alpha really will be sine. We are writing 0.75 zero zero. What is the meaning of this? It's half sine. What is half sine? Half cos, half sine. It's like reciprocal of the other one. The reciprocal of the other one. That's that we are just like when I say two. The total of three is one over two. So when I was talking of sine, that's like say one, one over sine. Why is that? Inside the computer table that we used before, you have an angle, you go and check the trace and check your angle. This time around, you don't have angle, you have going other way. You don't have angle, you have to find the angle by yourself. How do I know the angle? You will go inside the computer table and check. This value is located somewhere on that side of angles. It may be a combination of one and or two figures together. But this particular value is located somewhere inside that side of angle. So what do you do? You go and check inside the side of angle. You are there with your paper, I mean with your first double you can check. By the time you check inside your first double, you will see that 36 under 8. Check the six over under 8. You check that other and you will see a value like 0 0.7481. 0 0.7481. I will write it up. I will write around the meter. 0 0.7481. We are not we are looking for 0 0.7500. You will have after this you see another figure greater than this. We are not going to we are cannot figure out what we don't need. Now another one, you have not after this you have 0 0.7500. You have 0 0.7500. You have the difference. If you check that six other eight, you will say this. Now if you check all that the differences, there are figures with the one, two, three, to nine also of that differences. If you check that where you see the the written hard different. Hard the different. Other cosine and sine and tangent, you have had the different. But under the cosine, you check very well, you will see subtract the different. So that's exactly what we are going to do here. When you check that six other eight, you get the value 4.7481. And we are looking for 4.7500. What remains? It remains 19. You can go and check properly under, as I say, under 7. Then 6 under 8. Go to the, to the difference of eight, to the difference of 7. 7 down, under the difference 6. You will see the value of that 19 written. With this 19, we have this value. So finally, our degree is called 36.8. Point eight seven. That means the value for this is thirty six under eight different seven. Thirty six under eight different seven. This becomes a degree. You want to write it in short form? You can say thirty seven and say thirty six point point nine. Depends on the question. Write it 
up in your own number, you can make it 37. If they are asked to write it up to one to make that figure is possible, they are asked to write it up to one, one decimal place, then it becomes 36.9. If they are asked to change it to one number, it becomes 37. If there is a specific question uh, to that. So I want to write it up to a whole number, that will be 37 degree. That is the nearest whole number. Number. Okay, then I've gotten how far. It remains my other beta. To get my beta, just like I said, name it. If this is the answer I want to work with, then the work facing me becomes my opposite. I can use any of the two sides. I can use any of the two I can use any of the two sides. If I want to use this step, but I've not used it before. So this is my opposite now. I want to use A to D. O and H. O and H. O and H from Sotatua is sign. So we have our sign also. Sign beta O and H. H over 10. 21 to reduce it to the. Uh, reduce it, we have 4 over 5. You can go for that. 0.8. But don't forget, as I said, uh, let's go to the other side. Let's go to the other side. But finally, you know this is that you have to find the smallest angle of the triangle. 
this cannot be smallest. If this is 90, the addition of this will give us 90. So the smallest, therefore, the smallest angle will now be your 90 degree minus 58. This will be 32 degrees. That's for that. So I would like to stop here to give one or two questions that you can only exercise with while at home. One or two questions that I can only exercise with. Okay, five on hold. Find the unknown side and have it. Thank you.